What's up everybody, this is Andrew from Trailrunner Customs. Today we have an awesome video for you guys. We have a GX470 grill installation walkthrough. In this video, I partnered up with my friend Mike McKenzie. Shout out to him. He has his own YouTube channel where he has more footage of this installation. And he did a super great job on this, so be sure to check out his channel. The link will be in the description. All right, guys, we're gonna do an unboxing of the grill from Trailrunner Customs. So this is going to be the actual grill itself. I'm going to confess, I actually already opened this because I wanted to paint it before getting it on. So, I'll show you the painting. There is the paint job. It's got a little bit of dust on it. These grills from Trail Runner Customs are actually going to come an unpainted plastic finish. So, that gives you the option to paint it whatever color you want. Set this aside. In this bag, we're going to have a fuse tap as well as an extra fuse and a connector. This box is going to be lights and wiring harness. So your actual wiring harness that hooks up to a 12 volt power source, which we're going to use this fuse tap for, and then to a ground, which is what we're going to use this terminal connector for. And then three leads off of that, which are going to connect to the three Raptor lights. Pretty cool piece of foam. Guess that's to go on the back side of the grill. Sweet, we'll get that installed. First impressions on the grill is that everything is really, really, really nice. And this is what I mean by that. All of the plastic is really thick and it's all strong. It's all gusseted. Everywhere where the studs actually insert into the grill, it's really strong. It doesn't look like any corners were cut in making this grill. So I'm really excited to get it on and see how it looks on the GX. Really high quality. Here is the grill insert. That is really nice. It's painted. Painted like a flat silver color. The semi-gloss clear coat on it. It's gonna look really good. So to pull the old grill off, it looks like I'm gonna have to remove these 10 millimeter nuts. Looks like I'm missing one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, would be eight, but seven in my case. Uh, and then I have to pull off these two 10 millimeter bolts holding the hood release on there. So let's do that. All right, now the grill should come off. There it is. All right, I've got all of these studs on. I think the challenge is going to be picking the grill up and actually putting it onto the hood all right, so what we're going to try here is having Mike hold the hood a little bit lower. Requires a little finesse. All right, maybe we can go up with it. Just hair. No, just hair. There we go. All right. Looks like all the studs are on. All right, got it all installed. Got the lights thrown into the grill. They're not wired up yet, but tell me what you think, guys. How does this really nice grill look on this rock chipped hood? I gotta fix that soon. All right, so now I'm going to wire in the lights. I'm gonna start with this furthest passenger side light. I'm gonna go behind the actual hood release and behind the grill support right there of the hood. That way the wiring harness doesn't interfere with the hood release. Whenever I'm doing wiring, I like to actually wire everything up first before tightening everything, so that's what I'm gonna do. Again, I'm gonna use a fuse tap to actually wire this into the fuse box, and then I'm going to use their ring terminal to just ground this wire out. 
All right, so to start, I'm going to wire in this fuse tab. This comes with a butt connector, so with butt connectors, especially this style of butt connector and this size, the blue butt connector is gonna be for a 16 to 14 gauge wire. The wire that's in this kit is gonna be more like a 22 gauge wire. So rather than just taking this exposed twisted wire, setting it into this butt connector and crimping it, you're not gonna get a good bite on this wire. So what I actually do is I end up pulling off more of this sleeve and then I end up wrapping it around itself to create a thicker wire. All right, so expose more wire. Now we can twist. Fold in half. And twist some more to create a thicker wire. Get it closer to the 16 to 14 gauge that the blue butt connector calls for. I'm gonna take a piece of heat shrink Flip it over the wire, and then the butt connector. It's a really simple connection, just butt connector and heat shrink. Normally, if I'm doing something like this, I'm going to be making my own wiring harness. There's going to be a wire harness loom, and it's going to be heat shrunk the whole way and taped the whole way, but it's just a real simple connection. Nothing wrong with it. All right, let's do the terminal connection side. Again, with this connector, and this being a blue butt connector, we're going to take off a lot more of this cable sleeving to expose a lot more of this wire. I'm gonna let these connectors cool down and then I'm gonna test it. All right, so to wire this, the tapped fuse is going to be on the top connector here. And then whatever fuse you're pulling out of your fuse box and replacing is going to be down here. In this case, it's gonna be a 10 amp fuse for the low beam headlight. That means that whenever my low beam headlights are on, these grill lights should come on. So let's pull that fuse, connect it, plug it in, and then get this grounded and then test it out. Cool, it works. All right, so now that we know that everything works, let's pop the hood, clean up all the wiring, and then call this job done. All right, so rather than using zip ties to connect all these wires together, I'm actually gonna be using an electrical felt tape. I'm actually just gonna tape these wires up to each other, just like this. and then I'll throw some more pieces of tape on it here and here. This is how I routed the wires. Again, behind this hood grill support and then taped up here, taped it here, and I taped it here. And then I actually tucked it behind this cover here. Comes all the way down and then out through here and then I zip tied it right here with my ditch light wiring. And then the rest of the wiring comes up through here. My ground is grounded to the actual body here. And then the fuse tap is right in here. And again, I fuse tapped that to the headlight low beam so that whenever the low beams are on, the grill lights are on. So I'm all done with the grill install. I'm gonna pull the GX out of the shop, take it home, and then give you my final thoughts on it. Final thoughts on the grill. I absolutely love it. So I like everything about it. The only thing that I don't like about it is the coating that I gave to it. I did paint this grill matte black. However, 
I clear coated it with a semi-gloss clear coat. I wish that I just used a matte clear coat. So I may be pulling this grill apart in the near future to literally just redo the paint on it. So when I do pull it apart, I am going to just paint it with a trim black paint and then matte clear coat. Other than that, I love the fit. I love the finish. Uh, Trail Runner Customs absolutely killed it. So yeah, overall, I really like the look of the grill on Mike's GX. I think that the black on white color pattern really looks nice on his rig. Just a reminder, if you want to look at another more in-depth installation video, we have one of those on our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Elevating the style of your vehicle doesn't have to be difficult. Check out the link in our description to pick up your Lexus GX grill today.